Fourth dance lesson is an equation. So we love math. Who doesn't love math? Who not laughs? Well, don't go. There's a book called Really Hard Math for um, whatever, elementary school students. I'm going to buy that and torture my grandchildren with it one day. Anyway, this is a very simple math equation, and it's trust is equal to competence times intimacy. So if you want the big assignments at work, uh, you, you need the trust of your boss. Well, for sure, you have to be competent, and, and we all know that. We'll work hard for that to get your education for that, and then you, know, you want those difficult assignments so you can prove yourself. But then there's also intimacy, which is the comfort factor that other people have when working with you. This can be especially challenging for a woman, especially if you're working with men who don't really know how to take you. You know, maybe they don't, they're uncomfortable working, uh, working with women. I remember when I was young, younger before, you know, I'd established my name at the company, and I, I would work in a group, usually I was the only woman, and sometimes I would get treated like the daughter, which is a little bit on the patronizing side, and then sometimes I would be treated as like the potential date, uh, which is also not the kind of place you want to be. So, and, and men today are afraid of sexual harassment claims, so a lot of times they're just not quite so sure. And you know when somebody's uncomfortable with you, when you're having an interaction and just, their body language just screams it, like, oh boy, I can't wait to you know, get away, and they keep their distance. So part of human nature is then when somebody is that way, then it makes, makes you kind of tense and uncomfortable and fidget. So what I try to do in that situation is just make my body language visibly relax, you know, and smile and try to be easy to be around not in a giggly way or a goofy way or a talk too much, talk incessantly kind of way, but just a little bit more relaxed. That helps the other person to relax. And networking is part of developing this intimacy as well. Here's a trick. I, I'm not terribly social person. I have decent social skills, but it's not my go-to place. Uh, here's a trick. When you're going up to somebody, and uh, let's say you're in the workplace and you're at their desk, just look at what's on their desk. Is it a piece of artwork from a child? Is it a picture of their wife? Or is it, you know, the pets? Uh, you make the, first make a little per, tiny personal connection like that, uh, and then you can kind of start into uh, the work kind of conversation. 